What's up, timekeepers? Me, time I'm here. Going to be playing a small little game for you guys called Hitchhiker First Ride. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be playing a small little game available on uh, Humble, on, in the Humble Store, uh, called Hitchhiker First Ride. This is a game uh, brought to you. Uh, this is a, a game that usually would be part of Humble Bundle Monthly. A subscription you can go to for $12. The game just jump right in. Uh, it's a game you can get for free right now till February 2nd. Of course, this is sponsored by Humble Humble Bundle Partnership that I'm part of. So I'm going to be playing the game, be trying it out. If you guys want to try it out, the game is free till February 2nd. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to Humble Mund Humble Bundle Monthly so you guys can check out the subscription. $12 a month, you get a punched free games. There's a ton of exclusive from the Humble Bundle, so we'll start off the game right here. The game does look better uh, quality-wise, just I have to bring the quality down for my PC, so... Well, this is just a small little game. So, so where are you headed? <laughs> cool. Where am I heading? Uh, truck? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Not the talkative type, eh? No, I am That's not. That's okay. Most people I pick up are just waiting for their <laughs> turn to talk. Yes, sir. It's so beautiful outside. Oh, there's a lot of bugs here. Do I want a farm? Do I want a raisin? Raisin have farmers? Sure. California still farms more raisins than anywhere on earth. Well, gosh darn it. Funny, I had no idea. Yep, that's right. That's right. Some people don't have the slightest idea. Nope. I, me being one of them. Sure you don't want one? Uh, okay, sure. Let's try one of your raisins. Mmm. Yum, 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 yum. That's some fine quality. Whoa! There was some drugs in this raisin. You don't look so good. <laughs> you think? I'm yes, bad tripping on raisins. God damn! Open up the window. I need some fresh air here. Uh, <sighs> Jesus Christ! What what do what you put in your raisin? Clearest evidence that reality isn't real. So you're gonna give me raisins and then you're gonna ask me about reality? Sure, enlighten me. <laughs> raisins and grapes, man. They're the same thing, but they really taste disgusting when eaten together. Well, I'll be damned. Obvious bug in the program there, right? <laughs> All right. All right. A slippery thing. Can I get out? Can I get out now? <laughs> when somebody asks you about this ride later, assuming you even know where you're going, and get someplace where somebody can ask you. Hey, All right. You get here anyway. They'll ask you. Oh, I hitched. And your brain will flash back for a second when you say this, and it'll show you a frozen snapshot of yourself. Sitting in this car, talking to me, like we are right now. All right. But which moment will it actually show you? Will it the one that one? you... Or this one? Or this one? Okay. We think we remember Jesus, how people really the were. Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on here? lives together really were. But when we think back to them, even the people we cared about the most... All we're doing is snatching moments out of the air. Just grabbing another raisin out of the box. Well, wow, this raisin farmer is... <laughs> so, uh, what is it with you and raisins? <laughs> a lot of much. raisins? They're like those dogs, you see, with wrinkles of skin falling over <coughs> their eyes. Okay. The most handsome dogs. Basically helpless, but lovable. My wife... She preferred grapes, the way most people do. Preferred? Did you kill her in your basement, She's or...? She's dead now. Did but you probably guess that. Um, how would I guess? Takes one to know one, right? I can always spot someone... What the fuck? ...along this highway. Oh, okay. They oh, I'm finding a bit about myself. ...with a dazed look on their face and their thumb up in the air. Am I a lady? I don't know. Maybe. Do I know from you from somewhere? Yeah, that's no, a good I don't question. Know you kid. I just know the type. All right. 
Hey, do me a favor and close the window, would you? Uh. Oh, there's matches here. Help. You got there. Nothing. Just a matchbook, huh? I figured it must have been something important. Nothing. I'll close the window, That's okay? Better. Now, where were we? Yeah, you you were going to fill it. I'm I'm scared now. No, I'm literally scared. You pick up a lot yeah, of hitchhiker. Number. But after a while, you start seeing the same few archetypes over and over. You got the numb nuts Kerouac fans. You got your autodidact blowhards. They'll talk your ear off. You get a lot of people from Cincinnati for some reason. You got your deadheads trying to get to some concert someplace. Then there's the water bottle person. Always worrying they're gonna run out of water before they get where we're going. Alright. Still, you're the first hitcher I ever picked up who doesn't have a destination. Let's kick the can again. Seems like the right name for a guy who's traveling the world without knowing where he's going. You just sit back, Copernicus, and invent a language where false statements are impossible. Don't trust unknown drivers. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Am I gonna die? Is he like a... Is he like a mass murderer of hitchhikers? Uh, I got a I got a sign there that told me don't don't trust you unknown know, drivers. I got a, when I was a kid, matchbook that fucking told my me. My brother and I used to drive our parents crazy on long drives together. Our folks wouldn't let us listen to the radio in the car, so we used to make up these songs about. Love is it okay? I can't read that. I don't have time to read ten. We had this one with about thirty verses, each about a different kind of grain. There was oh. this one time we passed a billboard for some kind of bread. Challah bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of challah bread. In hell they have a hell a lot of challah bread. Yeah, that drove mom and dad crazy. In hell they have a hell a lot of Birds may swarm bread. when red. In hell they have a okay. hell a lot of challah bread. Come on, join in. In hell they have a hell a lot of challah bread. Sure. In hell they have a hell of Oh no, I'm a, I'm a guy, okay. In hell they have a hell Is this where I die? I guess that's where I'm going. In hell they have a hell a lot of challah bread. I must be dead on the side of the road or dying on the side of the road. Actually, I'm beginning to understand my parents' perspective. What the Getting fuck older is funny? It's like reading a book where less and less happens. Are we going in circles? It gets better and better. I'll take more action and worse writing. That's, That's pretty profound. I got it from an app. Oh, okay, an app. It's this app with philosophical sayings. My wife got it for me to make okay. me sound smarter. Did she yeah. work on the farm with you? We used to have a strict division of labor back when we worked together. She okay. would raise the grape from the time it appeared on the vine. I'd step in as soon as it was time to start drying them. Our customers used to have fun with that. I'm the dry one, they'd say. <laughs> Grapes attract a certain <laughs> kind of person. Oh, look, that sign again. A person who likes to make jokes. Wine enthusiasts, tourists. Don't trust unknown drivers. If I'm totally honest with you, I don't really remember what she looked like. Remember everything about her, just not her face. Some people have faces that are easy to remember. Doesn't seem fair. All right. You think you're present in the moment, Copernicus? You've been talking to me for 10 minutes. What color are my eyes? Brown? Nope. God damn it. Like I said when I picked you up. Some people are just waiting until it's their turn to talk. Okay. Anyway. I'm getting closer to death, ain't I? And I'll show you a photo of my wife. 
Okie dokie. Hmm, a, bo a water bottle. Hey, where'd you get that? That's not her. And that guy there, he looks like you. Oh boy, what the fuck? I don't know. I was gonna ask you the same question, Copernicus. The hell's going on here? Well, I guess it belongs to you. You better hold on to it. Did you take my wife? Are you? I don't. Are you don't want to kill my wife. Can I? Uh... <clears throat> Can I do anything now, or am I like? Want to hear a joke? Uh, sure. <laughs> Raise it. Take the prune to the dance. He Why? couldn't get a date. <laughs> oh, sh best dad joke ever. Hey, that reminds me. It's almost 4.30. You'll like this. It's my favorite. I once knew the hostess, Darlene. She used to change the tires on my truck on Highway 51. Welcome to another interstate riddle hour. Okay. Here's our first riddle. Keep your eyes filled, all you blacktop carpetbaggers. I fly, yet I have no wings. I cry, yet I have no eyes. Darkness follows me. Lower light, I never see. Boy, I don't clue. Here's a hint. We're looking for something fluffy. What am I? Find me and click. What the fuck are you? I'm fluffy. White and fluffy, low on the horizon. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. Whoa! Okie dokie. Very good. Here's How do they know I answered the question? A gatekeeper forever bound. Oh shit. It opens and shuts with a similar sound. What am I? Find me and click. A gatekeeper forever bound. He opens and shuts with similar sound. Here's a hint. Think metal teeth that open and shut. Why, why am I not, uh... Okay... Ready? Here's one more. He lies without touching the ground. Damn it, Darlene. What is that supposed to mean? I should have tipped her better when she changed the tires. She's been out to get me ever since. Right. What are you lying about? I admit I lied, but only about one thing. I ain't no raisin farmer. Why would anybody bother to lie about that? Damn it. Uh, we've never, yeah. damn it. I recognized you right away on the side of the road. Knew right away you're the guy who took photos of me in my trailer for that magazine. Uh, I want to talk to Darlene again. Oh, these raisins. I should have said no to these raisins. You showed up at my trailer park, taking photos. At first, I was a bit suspicious, since there were plans to kick us out and develop the trailer park into some kind of shopping center. But then it became clear that you'd been sent here by a magazine to do one of those stories about vanishing farmers that always pulls heartstrings with the rest of the country. Was she there with me? The woman in the photo? No, I didn't actually meet her. I just know what you told me about her. She was away what traveling the in Europe with us. And you were taking it so well. How do you know so much about me? I know a lot about 
about you. Are you are you God? I Am know I... about the phone number in the matchbook, for example. I know you didn't show it to me. Okay. You act like this is all normal. That's what you liked about me when we met. When you came to take those photos, you said you admired my fortitude. I had to look up at least one of those words in the dictionary. Turns out you just meant my not feeling every little thing that's gone wrong with me. Well, that's life as a raisin farmer. We're not known for live casting our power ballots. Each raisin is a little setback that you've learned to live with. You don't dwell on it or try too hard to remember. What well, else are you lying on? There's one more lie I told you. We're not number one anymore in raisin production. We were surpassed last year by Turkey. Go for the raisins. What are you trying to hide? See what I mean? I'm one of the good guys here. Look at back seat. What the hell? You never mentioned anything about him, but I guess he's part of what you're running from. Am I dead? Yeah, that's a good here. question. I'll try to explain. Why is a raisin farmer try to explain me my life? Come on. Sorry if the video is skipping a bit. Can I jump out now? Is this where I jump out? Oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. Why is it dark now? A man travels along a road until he reaches a gate at the top of a hill. Okay. The road has been long and straight so far, and the going has been easy. But now the man can't go any further, so he takes a seat by the road to rest. The man waits, and after a length of time that seems neither short nor oh, you're long, you're still here, okay? The gate opens, and a guard appears. Hmm. The man asks the guard for entry, but the guard says he cannot let him enter at the moment. All right. The man thinks for a second and asks if he will be allowed through later. It is possible, says the guard, but not now. The gate now stands slightly open, and the man tries to look through it longingly. His journey has been easy so far, and he misses the feeling of the open road. The guard notices and laughs. Even if you could gain entry, there are many gatekeepers after me. Some are much stronger than me, and I'm afraid to look upon them. So there the man waits for days. Months, years, waiting to enter. One day, when he's given up hope of entering, a single question occurs to him, one he has not thought of before. Why, he wonders aloud, are there no other travelers at this gate? Hmm, good question. Early in my journey, the road was crowded with them. And yet, in all these years, no one but myself has waited in front of this gate. The man is surprised to hear an answer come from a voice next to his ear. It is you who made this gate, 
says a bird perched by his shoulder. So it exists for no one but you. Okay. But why? asks the traveler. Why would I want to stop here? The bird replies, after hungrily eating a crust of bread from the man's hand. After this point, the road becomes less straight. It becomes like the tree in which I live, splitting into dozens, hundreds of branches. <coughs> the path becomes impossibly narrow and frail, and crowded with the view of other paths one could have taken. There's only one point ahead on the road where all paths converge, where all points join, where the light shines through skin and through eyes. All right, all right. But it's never been reached by one of your kind, a traveler who walks on feet. Shoo, cries the guard, chasing the bird away. Don't listen to his nonsense. Having said this, he takes a seat next to the traveler but not before closing the gate forever. God damn. So when you think about it, who knows how long we've been sitting here, just like this, on this road. And you're the gatekeeper. Take it from me. It's better to face things with, what's it called again? Fortitude. Better not to feel too much. Want a raisin? Yes, I'll take another raisin. See, you're getting used to it. Are you sure about that? Life is like a box of raisins. Let some forest go type wisdom for you right there. Here, I'll leave the box open for you. Help yourself. It was already open. Uh, bird? Hello? Eat raisin? Am I supposed to see something here? Can I open the window? Look, hooded crows all along this road. I have to chase these for my farm every harvest. Didn't get much peck out of this last harvest. You don't want to do that. There's no telling what those birds will do once they start swarming. Well, don't tell me not to do something. It's not like you're trying to stop me. You're making a mistake, kid. You don't know where they're taking you. Look, I'll help you. I'll help you figure out what happened when she came back from Europe. Look, I get that you're mad, and I don't blame you. But you don't know what's out there, kid. What other drivers on this road are like. Stay with me, and things will play a lot safer. Hmm. Should I go with the birds? Let's go with the bird. All right, I guess you made your choice. Don't blame me for what happens next. Let me out. I guess this is where they want you. Crazy crows. You better check your backpack. They have a way of leaving gifts once you've fed them. Often something shiny or a piece of string. Check my inventory. Hmm, that's not a good look for either of you. I guess you'll be needing to get to the bottom of that. Just remember, there are many more gates ahead and many more guards. I'm pretty much the friendly drunken uncle of the bunch. 
Well, good luck to you, kid. Oh, one more thing. What is What it? did the grape say when he got run over by a car? No idea. Nothing. He just gave a little wine. <laughs> good luck with your search. Alrighty. All right, guys, that's going to be it for uh, Hitchhiker First Ride. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I got pretty deep there at the end. Uh, I don't know if there's a different option or just like if I just I say I trust him. It just keeps keep going in that loop and loop. I'll let you guys find it out. It is free right now if you want to check it out. I'll leave it in the description below of uh, the Humble, Humble Bundle Monthly where you guys can check out each month $12 for a bunch of games. This month's uh, for a bunch of January. It is Civilization 6 with all the DLC, if I remember. So go click that link below. Check it out. You got about six free games you guys can check out in the Humble Bundle Trove Pack. Uh, you got all the other games that have been available uh, for Humble Bundle monthly. You guys can buy separately. But also, uh, you have a link to the Humble Bundle monthly stuff and the free games that are available right now. Of course, when you click the link and you you purchase the subscription, you do help me out and you help out the charity of my choice, which is Extra Life. That's the charity I keep helping all the time. I really appreciate that. So thank you so much guys for watching. Of course, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere. Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Of course, if you want to talk about the game, do it in the description below. Would really like your comments about what you think happens next uh hopefully there might be another portion to this game at, at some point we'll have to see but thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video keep on keeping on